Well, how are we doing today? Today we're taking a peek at this. This is the Cuddy 40, um, geez, let's try that again. Well, hello, welcome. Today we're taking a peek at this. This is the Cuddy 40 quart floating cooler. Now, whether or not you're just using this in your backyard pool uh, or in uh, any pool for that matter, or you're you know, go, doing a tube float for the day and floating down some river or, or creek somewhere, or you're actually pulling this behind a kayak, canoe, or other uh, boat. This is a floating cooler that does track and has a strap to hook it up to pull it behind whatever watercraft you would like. Now today, I actually got through using it as a towable for the first time. I've actually used it in my backyard pool before, um, but today was more about uh, towing behind my kayak, which uh, we did on the Mississippi River. So uh, backwaters, so not out in the channel, but um, still a little bit of choppiness. So probably actually not the most optimal place to do it, but it kind of showed off one of the things that you definitely want to do. So let's, uh, let's dive in. Hey, peace, ladies and gentlemen. I've done some uh, kayaking videos recently, and today we're taking a peek at the Cuddy um, towable, floatable waterproof cooler. Um, it it will not sink. It is actually a fully sealed unit, so there is plenty of air in here for insulation. But also, the thing will never will never sink. And I definitely put that to the test today as well. Um, but also, it does change how you pull and how much uh, how many things you put in the cooler. Will definitely vary how what kind of an experience you have so in floating in my pool the first time i did it um i didn't put anything in it and i kind of used it it was very it floated very high so i had to I actually filled it with a bunch of water and it, it it worked in the pool a lot better like that that said today out on the water we actually i actually pulled it behind my kayak um with ice drinks a bunch of stuff inside of it um, we didn't use it as a floating barge. We actually used it as a towable trailer that once we got down to an island, we uh, had some beverages. It was nice. Um, the thing is, is that you want to make sure that you tow this properly. Uh, and that's what we'll go into. But I wanted to go through at least uh, show you some of the footage, um, some of the things that, uh, that came out from using it. And then we'll, uh, we'll close things up. Okay, well, so this is uh, after I just got this guy, I, I wanted to do a... Uh, a quick video test to see what it's like in my pool before I actually was to take it on the river or anything like that. Now it's sitting low in the water because I actually have it full of water. Um, what I found was if it was empty, fully empty, nothing in it, it sat so high it was almost bobbling back and forth really crazy because it was kind of top heavy. And these bottles, these just 16.9 fluid ounce bottles are so top heavy i mean we actually had a couple of them just fall out so um now that it actually has ballast in it since i put it basically filled it with water um it's been sitting really good in the water and these actually haven't been a problem especially after you get it, the fluid down out of the top and yeah, no problem at all anymore but obviously it's designed for cans and koozies uh, including like the, the yeti koozie so i definitely want to try it with that but so far we actually we spent the last half hour 45 minutes in our pool <coughs> excuse me and it's uh been great so uh yeah that's you know so far i'm really impressed by it it does come with a six foot tether that you basically tie onto the handle just a carabiner on and that's how you pull it with your kayak or canoe or whatever you want to tie it onto and pull it through the water so i am really impressed i'm actually looking forward to trying it out on a river
So, take my pole. Then I get anything I want out of the cooler. And when I'm done, step back down, go about my day. So that is the Cuddy Cooler. I will put a link at the top of the description where you can take a peek at it on Amazon. Um, the big thing about it is, is it perfect? No, it isn't, but again, there's no perfect product. But it does actually work really well. Like I was telling my wife, to be honest, every time that we go for a longer journey that's not just uh, a couple hour tour um, or like an all day thing, this is definitely gonna be coming with us as a towable for our, our kayak because it wasn't terrible in how much extra resistance we got. Specifically after we shortened up the leash to four feet, um, we didn't have the diving, the nose diving anymore. Uh, so that was nice. But once we did that, I didn't notice it as much. So this is definitely gonna be uh, a thing that we'll use regularly um, towing behind our kayak when we go for longer distances. Um, shorter distances, we usually just have a water bottle anyway and we're good to go. But anytime we're gonna do anything more uh, extended uh, or if we're gonna do, um, like island camping where you actually camp on a beach, beach camping. Um, this would be great because you can bring all your, your stuff with you. Uh, also, you know, having a cooler keeps everything cool, including drinks, but also like your lunch and stuff like that. So this is a pretty awesome product uh, because it actually fits a bunch of niches. So you can tow it behind your boat, you can use it in your pool. The big thing, like I was telling my, my, my friend was, uh, tube floating has been a very popular thing lately. This is the perfect cooler for tube floats. You know, rather than getting another tube and putting your cooler in it or, you know, whatever, this is designed for that. It's not gonna flip over on you, well, unless you uh, tow it really far behind your kayak and get it to nosedive into a bunch of waves. Otherwise, it's not gonna tip over on you. It's actually pretty sturdy. So that's that. The only other thing I will not mention is the cup holder design. I wish the cup holders were a little bit deeper, and that's just because not all beverages are some beverages are, are more top heavy. So for instance, like the 16 or 20 ounce or, or, or bigger uh, bottles of, of pop, um, they, don't, they don't fit real, they're, they're skinnier than this and they're really top heavy. So in water that has any kind of waves at all, they tend to fall over. Um, whereas if you're using cans and cans with koozies, it's kind of designed for the, that. So if you have a, you know, a Yeti koozie for your 12 ounce can or whatever, it's kind of designed for that. So just last little mentions there. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions or comments, post those below. Uh, check out the link at the top of the description, and we'll catch you back here on Camp Geeks for another future video review. See you soon.